in the previous slide, we transferred the shear points. Now we're gonna start to work for water lines. So here's water line 2A, and I know that it's kind of a shadow on your page, but there's 2A. And again, I can take this tick strip. It's all referenced off of a perpendicular, in this case, the aft perpendicular. And again, I'm dropping where that water line intersects our new butt lines. So there's butt one, butt two, butt three, butt four. And I drop them and I transfer them to the plan view and I create all of these intersections. And again, now I'm not only seeing where a water line slices through the, the transom, I'm still seeing our original shear, our deck camber, our crown, and I still have a little bit of the, these butts in here. So I'm starting to see some different planes in here. And we'll do that for each of the water lines. So this kind of jumps ahead a little bit where we've taken all of these points here, all of those points here, and this tiny little detail here, and we've dropped them straight down to create these, these lines as you see them. That's water line, uh, that's 2A. Here's water line 1A. And there's this tiny little segment of load water line here, but we can technically transfer all of those points because we have them up here in the, in the profile view. So we're, we're literally transferring water line intersections from profile view down below to the plan view. We've transferred some water lines. And the next thing we want to do is correct where those actual water lines intersect our new transom. So